Premiere is now on mobile, and yes, it's completely free without any catches. How and why you say? Well, Adobe just wanted to make a free editing tool that can do basic edits for social media content creators. So you can start on your phone or you can complete the whole edit on your phone. But if you wanna do further refinements, you can just send it off to Premiere Desktop and do more there on your desktop. All right, let's go ahead and show you how it works and some things I would like improved. Let's jump on in. Before we jump in, I'm excited to share with you that my Gao keyboard shortcut cover for MacBook Pro and MacBook Air is now available. You can snag your own at premiergal.com slash covers. So here from the welcome page here, you're given a few different options. The new from photo library, the extract audio, those things are free. But if you ever want to generate an image, image to video or expand image, those require an Adobe Firefly plan, which will require you to log in to your Creative Cloud plan. But for this, we're just using the free tools, right? So let's go ahead and create a new project by clicking on this little blue icon in the lower right corner. I forgot to mention as well that this is only available for iPhone right now. They are currently working on Android, which will be available later on. So from here, you can select the videos and photos in the order that you want them to be laid out in your timeline. So let's go ahead and select a couple and then press next. Because I filmed this on the front camera on my iPhone, I wanna flip it horizontally so that way the words are displayed correctly. For example, gal is flipped. So what we can do is select a video clip here, and then we can go down to one of these menu items here at the bottom, and look as we scroll over, there's the flip H. And when I do that, it flips it. So now we can read gal and it's displayed correctly. Now we have to go ahead and do that to the other clip here that was also filmed on the front camera and flip H. So that's done. And I recommend doing this first so that way you don't have to select each cut and perform that same thing over and over again. I do wish there was a way to do it to the whole timeline though. That would be pretty useful. So now we need to cut out the bad takes and the parts that we don't want in our edit. What's really cool is you can actually pinch to zoom in and get a really close up view of the timeline and waveform. So what you can do is you can roll your edit in to make a cut. Or if I undo that, what you can do is you can move the playhead to the moment you wanna make a cut, and then you can press split and then delete the excess. So those are two ways to do it. So you'll see as I scrub through here that there's handles on the end and the front of the clip that you can roll in to make those edits. Another thing you can do is you can move frame by frame by touching this button here or this button, and that's useful. And then if you wanna to go to the previous cut point, you can click the outside button, or you can move forward in the timeline to the next cut point by selecting this one. And this is just a quick way to go to all the different clips in your timeline. So I'm gonna go through and make all those cuts quickly to create my rough cut. So because I have a little jump cut between this clip and this one, I'm just going to tap on this one and pinch out to zoom in slightly. So that way it's less noticeable. Away. Let's show you a few of my favorite shortcuts. So now that I have my rough cut done, I wanna add some B-roll on top as well. So if you just tap on the timeline here, you can add videos and images here and you can choose the photo library. And so I wanna add some B-roll clips here. Let's tap on this one and let's tap on this one and hit next. Now this is gonna add it to the main timeline here, wherever you had the playhead in your timeline. But no worries, we can actually just tap this and drag to bring it up on the layer above and then we can reposition it. So to move these clips around, I can just tap and move to the right or the left to move the B-roll clips anywhere I want. I could also drag the handles just like before to make simple cuts. 
These are Premiere Pro shortcut silicone covers for MacBook Pro and MacBook Air. And what about transitions? There's a few built-in transitions here. If you just tap on the empty area and zoom in on your base layer here, you can see there's a little translucent rectangle here. If you tap on that, you get the different transitions that you can use. So you have some crossfades all the way to a wipe. So let's try a wipe and you can also adjust the duration. So let's see how that looks. I know you're gonna love it and the yeah, so it's pretty basic and cool. You can also try out different ones like a bar wipe. I know you're gonna love it. So far the app's been performing super fast and everything's really easy to do. But now let's talk about some audio. So I have a little bit of background noise in my audio. The Gal keyboard covers are finally here. Let's enhance it. You can select the audio and then you can scroll over here to enhance speech. Turn it on and then you can adjust how much you want the speech to be enhanced and how much of the background noise you want removed. So you have to play around with this until it works for the particular clip that you're working with, right? Because everybody has a different environment. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for now so you can hear what it sounds like before. The Gal keyboard covers are finally here. The Gal keyboard covers are finally here. So it's a subtle difference. The audio is pretty good here because I was wearing a lav mic for this with my mobile phone. But depending on your environment, you can get a much bigger difference, right? If you have like an AC going on in the background, this can help your audio a lot. So then you have to go in and tap each audio clip and then enhance speech and make your adjustments. Now, I wish that you could enhance speech on an entire audio track here, right? Because this is kind of cumbersome to have to go through and click this each time and make those adjustments. So my recommendation for Adobe is to add some sort of button here that says apply enhanced speech to all base layer audio clips, right? Because that's gonna save you time. So now let's add some free music. Let's go ahead and tap on this empty area then music and audio, and you can do all sorts of stuff here. Like you can even record a voiceover, which is great for like day in a life videos where you just wanna talk over your footage. There's also other things like you can add your own music, you can extract audio. In this case, I'm just going to tap on soundtracks. So here, let's go ahead and adjust by mood. I think I want something that is relaxing and I want to choose a new genre and let's choose electronic and hip hop genre. And you can play a couple. I like this one because it's a little bit more chill and I like the vibe and then press the plus. And this is going to take a couple seconds to download from the cloud and then be placed in Premiere's mobile timeline. All right, it's been added and we can go ahead and hit play to see how it sounds. The Gal keyboard covers are finally here. These are Premiere Pro. It automatically adds it at a pretty good level, right? So you can hear my voice. But if you want to adjust it even more to make it higher or lower, select the music clip and then tap volume. And here you can adjust it to make it lower by moving it to the left or increase it a lot more. I'm gonna have mine around 23%. Another thing you can do is add an audio fade. So we can scroll to the right here and select audio fade. And you can choose how much you want it to fade in by seconds and fade out by seconds. So if you want it to fade in one second in the beginning around that, and then I want it to fade out about four seconds. And what's really cool is you can scrub to the end here. Oops, and you can see it's a little bit too long. So I'm actually going to scroll and make sure that that meets the end of my actual video. I don't want it to be too long there. And now as I pinch in, you can see that there's this fade. First, go buy one yourself. All right, enjoy. Woo. Now it looks like it's still a little bit too loud, which is good that I went to a different part of the song. And that's good to check. So I'm gonna reduce this a little bit more to like 18%. All right, so that's audio. I'm really impressed with how easy it is to create those audio fades. You can't make, you know, the customizations to those curves yet, but if you need to make those customizations, remember you can always send your project to Premiere Desktop 
and refine there. Let's talk about captions because captions are really important for social videos. So let's tap here on the empty area and select titles and captions. So you can make titles or captions here. So press CC to make your captions and we want it to be all speech, right? So let's go ahead and create our captions. And this is going to take about a few seconds for this video. See how quickly it created my captions. And now what's really cool is you can select any caption here and you can edit this caption if it has a typo. So for example, I wanted to start off with a capital T and I wanna capitalize my G as well in gal. So it's great that we can quickly edit, right? But stylization now, once you make a change, it applies to all the captions in your timeline, which is just fantastic. So let's click on style and we can choose one of these animated presets. So let's choose this one here, I like that one. Let's update our font and we can adjust our color. Let's make our background a custom, like a darkish purple color. And let's also bring up the opacity. There we go. And then for layout, you can also adjust how wide you want the captions to be, which is really nice. Now, the only thing in my opinion that's missing here is the ability to choose how many lines you want. So right now it it's two lines and I can't change that. So here underneath layout, it would be great to choose if it's single line or double line captions, and it should be automatically changed to all the captions. Because right now, what's really great is we have these nice karaoke style animating captions. Covers are finally here. These are Premiere Pro shortcut. But if I wanted to make it a double or single line, I would have to go in manually and split. And then I would have to edit this caption and decide where I want this to end. So the gal keyboard covers are finally here and then edit this until it's one line. And that works, but then I also have to go back here and then edit this line. So it's very manual. And so I think that this should be automatic. And I hope that Premiere Pro is working on that. But for now, if you're okay with double lines, then it's working great, right? This is what we wanted on a free mobile app is just to create quick captions so people can read it and make it accessible as well. So once you're done refining everything, you're just gonna tap this little export icon in the upper right, and you can export your video here in these three resolutions in these four different frame rates, and you can choose the quality. You can see if you choose medium, or low, the file size gets smaller, but higher quality is what you always want, right? So you can hit export video and it saves to your phone, or if you wanna refine further in Premiere Desktop, just select that and send project. And of course you need to be logged into your Adobe Creative Cloud account. So I honestly think it's a great version one of this free video editing app for social media content creators. And also Premiere Rush is going to be discontinued. And yeah, I just think it's great because I film a lot of social videos when I go out into the world and do some short vlogs for my Instagram. And it would be great to just edit those videos on my phone, just chilling on a couch or on an airplane. And then if I need to make more refinements, I can always just send it to the desktop app, which is fantastic. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna learn about other mobile editing tools, you can click right over here. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, keep creating better video with a gal. See you next time. Bye. Ooh, ooh.